Welcome to this video tutorial on how to use the MultiCheck software on your Infinity Reader. If you are working with a reader like the Infinity 200 Pro, your TCOM package may additionally include filters for filter-based units or injectors if they were configured with the system. Let's install the MultiCheck software. If you open the TCOM USB stick, you see these files and folders. Open the software folder and click on the M200 Pro specifically. The others are for readers that we are not concerned with for this video. Click on the setup file to start the installation. Allow the start of the installation by clicking Yes. To install the prerequisites, click Next. Wait for this first step of the installation to finish. It might take a minute. We'll speed it up. A window will pop up. As soon as you can continue, press OK. Now it's time for the main installation. If the next window doesn't appear, click on this blinking symbol. This is the setup wizard for the MultiCheck software. Follow the steps of the installation. Finish the installation and restart your PC. After the restart, open the MultiCheck program. First, we have to create an administrator. Choose a name and a strong password. Click OK. You can add specific roles and users if you want. Finally, log in with your chosen administrator name and password. After the login, you have to add the norm file to the program. The norm file contains the data against which your reader will be compared. Click File, then Update Norm File. On the Tekken USB stick, click on the norm file and open it. Click OK. Let's set up the measurement. Once the file is uploaded, click on the play button. Click next to proceed. To connect the instrument, click on the specific name. In our case, the Infinity 200 Pro. When using a filter-based instrument, make sure to insert the QC filter side for testing. This is how to insert the filters. Click next. Click next again. The provided tests should all be automatically selected. So, click Next. If the injector is installed, we have to prime the instrument first. Choose your injectors and start the priming process. After priming, close the window and click Next. We now have to insert the multi-check. Place the multi-check onto the plate transport. Make sure the A1 mark on the plate is in the top left corner of the transport holder. Back in the program, click Next. If the luminescence is installed, click this button on the multi-check plate. Once the green light below blinks three times, click OK and the measurement starts running. Depending on the instrument configuration, the runtime of the program is between 20 minutes and 1.5 hours. If you have an injector, the final test will require user intervention. You will see a 96 and 384 well plate. Start by replacing the multi-check plate with a 96 well plate. And confirm the check by clicking OK. After the test, the filled wells in the plate have to match the ones in the program's graphic. To be sure, check the plate from the top and from all four side views. There must be no liquid drops in other wells or outside the wells. Then, click Yes. Now, load the 384 well plate. Click OK and repeat the test the same way as before. Finally, we have to save and finish the test. You will automatically receive your test report. This document can be exported to PDF format. If you need any further help, please find detailed instructions in the manual or on the USB drive. Check out our other articles and videos on the Knowledge Portal. And please do not hesitate to reach out to our help desk experts.